bullets fly free like the doves do. And regardless of how many beatings you get, your mama still loves you. A place where there are more straight bullets than cats, more kufis and hats. And if you ain't got that lettuce, cheese, or bread, regardless if you got the beef, it's considered a rat. See, I've been chasing talent with success for many years, and I've been abusing it too. So if you were to call me a favorite holic, it'd be absolutely true. Because most days I wake up wishing I had me millions. Others, I'm grateful I'm up at all, but don't get it twisted. I still wish I had the Starbucks so I could live all grande. I'd never be short on money, and I'd always stack it top. Because money is dear to me. I've been chasing dough ever since I was a young buck. But my philosophy is much more simple. Plant flowers wherever you go to grow. Remember that the future is in the youth. The power is in the hands of the people. Live to die over, but always fight to be equal. And if your lover asks for space, return with the universe in its place. A bouquet of galaxies and a rain of stars to light their ceilings at night. And if they act up, cut them from the script, because life is nothing but a sitcom. A few are there for some seasons, some are there for some episodes, but most are just extras in the background. And stay clear of those who hijack styles because theirs is too plain like 9-11. Right. Or the ones that stand on the corner of the block 24-7 like 7-11. See, I used to have friends that didn't change, and I was having none of it. They were behaving like pennies, so I got rid of them like the Canadian government. <laughs> See, I'm just trying to have my pride in these poachers who think I'm lying when I say I'm the king. I just pray that I never forget that the light creates shadows, and that even the stars need darkness to shine, and that we are nothing more than a matter made of earth and time, because in a matter of time, this body of ours will go back to earth and won't matter. Because in the world where a legacy is the only thing you can leave behind, it's not when you enter your grave, but when the last memory of you fades that you die. There's a reason why God shaped this earth like a honeycomb, so that we may never forget to be just, and to just be. Thank you. The same dude who asked me where I came from asked me if I was scared of pirates and warlords. And not as much as crooked lawyers and politicians, I said. Sneaky briefcase bandits are no different than gangs and stuff to have behind suits. Just like the governments for presidents and parliaments to have behind troops. 21st century, Wall Street chiefs clothing, bunch of rich men who claim that they're chosen leaving deep wounds in the pocket because money to them has become God and God is going to make profits and profits don't lie, they know. So they add a couple of extra O's and your salary is to keep you quiet and lay low. And if you're chasing that check, you better be quiet and let's say so. But while you're chasing that cash, while you lack into reality check, confined behind a desk, cubicles as jail cells, and what's a tie but an upside down loose of our next. Oh. And isn't it ironic we sell a youthful wealth? By the time we accumulate that cash, all this hell, we use our money for health. Pension plans and retirement? Bullshit, I'm a drizzy when I was 16 and retired. And the government jails the youth for the so-called war on drugs for selling some weed. But I can walk into a pharmacy and get drugs from a dealer and a lab for if I need. And don't forget about the damn side effects. While we focus on the physical, the system of breaches of mental violence, point away from the problem, blaming innocent victim. Like the good dogs we are, we follow orders and sit them. Cast the elders in homes and there's nobody to listen. These Tom Cruise is the backwards, they make that pie sort of an impossible mission. Plus they got the youth in the hood thinking, give you word and keep it, never start snitching, find who who can keep six, stay alive, and when it comes to prayers, none of them can keep five. Instead they're on the corner of the block, set up off holding knives and face it, east like Beck and Melina, these suckers are giving us no love, but they're sipping aces like Vanessa and Sabrina. And the government expects me to jump through hoops to get a scholarship for hoops to get my education. But if I slip up and fly the for a whole year, my incarceration, because they know the only rights left to be exercised is during masturbation. Truth. You guys know what the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> it works, man. But like a doctor known from our practice, man, I'm starting to lose patience. And this psychology has become a major, and they made a minor out of our history, but they forgot that we, we were born back to life, and our African ancestors were hard for the masses, but what did that done for me? Nothing, because when I graduated, all I left was a PhD. It's a pretty huge debt. <laughs> I got a couple more for you guys, and I'm gonna skeet skeet. Head out, I'm not like skeet skeet like Dave Chappelle skeet skeet, but like get going, you know what I'm saying? All right. We keep forgetting that we are guests in this land. It's not our home, it's First Nations home. We need to remind ourselves about that. I don't have much time, guys. I got to go All right. When Christopher Columbus sailed the Atlantic and searched for India, he must have left both his navigator and his mobile compass behind. But personally, I think he must have been high off of some really good curry to think he landed in India. There are visible differences between First Nations in North America and Indians 
in India, which is in the Indian Ocean. But I guess greed is only able to differentiate between making promises you can't keep and robbing people of their promises. And this type of mentality must flow through generations like white blood cells and bloodlines killing anything that is formed because now Stephen Harper is taking promises from promised people. But let's not make this about Christopher Columbus or Stephen Harper. This is about the forgotten natives to the ones who battled the bravest of those who scattered among the graves. The name is this. It's for every elder, warrior, and chief who battled displacement first, in addiction second, who ran a chase of freedom but find themselves cornered into reserve chasing alcohol, to the queens who were taught in residential school and not to speak to mother tongue. Not to speak to mother tongue, but to use it. And that open leg will get you further than an open mind. In my perspective, this needs more than financial compensation. People need to be brought to an account because if we continue to tip the around these sensitive subjects, what will these people ever heal? Thank you. So I got a last one for you guys. My time got, my time got short and I apologize. Um, I just, there's a lot of black and white books and I tell this every time because I want to spread this. I'm not racist, all right? Get that clear, thank you. Round of applause for that. All right, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of black jokes and it ain't cool. There's not enough white jokes and I don't know, I need to change that shit, you know what I'm saying? So hold on, hold on, hold on, I don't got much time, sorry, I'm this quick. All right. <clears throat> Why are toilets white? Because anything black wouldn't take shit from nobody. <laughs> I was over the time. All right. There's a thing that my dad does all the time. It's the le. Oh, <laughs> my dad. And listen. And listen. So my dad has to deal with a lot of ignorance, and so do I. So every time me and my dad do that, he either goes butter. That's like a medium. A le. That's the ultimate. <laughs> So this one person came up to me and said, hey Ahmed, I heard something about your country. He's like, this is awesome. It's probably going to be something negative. Pirates or something about Somalia. I'm like, what'd you hear? They're like, oh, Africa. I was like, "Le." <laughs> I'm like, Africa is a continent and the country is Somalia. But you guys are too ignorant. Let me read you guys an infomercial. I wrote an infomercial for them. Here we go. <laughs> are you suffering from terrorism? <laughs> you wake up in the morning, afternoon, or next thing Asian. Are you fearful of Mexicans and borders being placed in the same sentence? Does the smell of curry remind you of body sweat? Do you find yourself clutching your work first when walking past a black guy? If so, you may be suffering from what is known as ignorance. <laughs> I and the people that get with it in 2012 would like to announce there is a cure. We understand that ignorance is a serious illness that affects teenagers and adults alike. It does not discriminate, however, the people suffering do. In North America alone, there is said to be nearly 200 million people that live with ignorance. Unlike other illnesses, people who are surrounded by ignorance often receive what is called unnecessary animosity generated resentment syndrome, or for short, mad hate. <laughs> so I and the people I get with in 2012 would like to present a cure to ignorance that is natural, affordable, and has been around for centuries. Knowledge. <laughs> and knowledge has been proven to release severe cases of ethnocentrism, racism, and has been highly effective against certain stereotypes. If you suffer from illiteracy, sexism, homophobia, other make sure to contact your local librarian and read the necessary text required for you to have that back to the house. So be sure not to mix knowledge with conspiracy that affects your unknown and have yet not been proven. <laughs> when consuming knowledge, seek wise space, finish knowledge directly and do not step unless otherwise stated. See, me and my partners that get with it in 2012 can guarantee it works, but we can't guarantee it too, so here are a few testimonies. You know what? I always want to know all black people love chicken and watermelon, so damn much. But that's knowledge. I don't waste my time on selling things that taste good. Why? Because they do taste good. I focus on how the government can help me provide for my kids. Hi. I I've always wanted to buy my rent, and uh, knowledge I realized I didn't even know what our rent was. <laughs> but now I do. But thanks to knowledge, I don't want to bomb them anymore. Side effects include tolerance, understanding, admiration, including risk of generosity is not foreseen. Love and pride are rare, but have been noted in some cases. Other side effects include mind being completely blown as to how you never realized life without ignorance. Ask yourself if knowledge is for you. If so, motherfucking get some. <laughs> <laughs>